What's up guys, welcome back. A little quick job today. We're gonna to install some deluxe Brit Park seats. Uh, didn't wanna to spend too much, just wanted something, uh, an upgrade to what's going on here. You can see the these seats have kind of seen better days. It's very, there's not much give in the cushion and it's uh, uh, the vinyl crack. I think you could hear it there when I was, when I just pushed on it. Um, I've already done the driver's side. There's the after, nice and clean and new and shiny. It's very supportive, uh, feels pretty good, and uh, uh, sets you up a little bit higher than these old worn down seats. So I'm gonna keep these, keep them in the box just to preserve them. I have no idea how old they are, but I uh, wanna keep them together with the rest of the truck. So I'll show you how I do that. Old seats come out very easily. Obviously this just slides out. Gas tank is under here, so this has to come out fairly easily anyway. Um, this is just a pin. The bracket can be uh, moved, and that, is, and that pops out. So there it is. How uh, simple is that? Here it is. Unboxing the new seat. This is the seat back. Probably very familiar, but these are more way more substantial than, than just the flat, uh, standard, basic seats. Uh, on these, they don't come pre-cut because you can use them for a number of different applications. I think uh, up here, there's a hole, there's a, a plate behind the vinyl here, uh, and there's a hole for a short reel base to replace. And there are three holes on the bottom uh, to replace the basic seats. And there are three holes on the bottom. Uh, you don't use the forward most hole, which is right there, and then there's a threaded hole here, just maybe half an inch back, uh, and that is where you will put in the, uh, they get, they sent some hardware, it's not in this box, but uh, uh, just two screws and a washer, um, install these, and yeah, that, that's it. Just remove a little bit of the material. Okay, got it started that time. Now let's do the other side. These seats were not super expensive. I think they're like $35 for the upper and then maybe another $30 for the, the bottom, uh, including shipping. I got mine from Paddock Spares. Um, Really good price and really, really fast shipping, even though I'm uh, not domestic for them. I still got them within a few days, so highly recommend that. Here we have and the second one in, so let's go, let's go put it in the bracket. We had some nice weather. I rolled the sides up for spring. I don't know that I'll take the top off, off this summer, but we're ready for spring and warm weather. There we go. New seat base is in. Probably 20 minutes and brand new seats in the series. Next video, I'll post an update. I replaced the voltage regulator on the back of the binnacle and I haven't had a chance to drive it yet, but I'm hoping that will fix some of my gauges, either not reading or bouncing around or, or whatever. So that piece was 22 years old. Uh, it just came in the boxes that I got with the truck. And I'm continuing to look in 
what's going on with the lights. So this originally was a 24 volt truck, of course, and it was converted to 12 volt. And somewhere along the line, somebody added some fuses in here, which is great. Uh, I don't know what they are, but, and they all look healthy, but trying to figure out what's going on with my headlights, um, that'll, that'll be difficult. And some of the, the unnecessary wires from this six, six way uh, NATO switch uh, for the convoy lights. Uh, some of those have been cut and they were not necessary, but that just gives you an idea of what I'm, what I'm Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and do all that stuff if you like hearing a boring guy talk about an old truck. Thanks.